Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> this, of course, is Skyrim. This is a game that, uh, well, I've, everybody loves Skyrim. And uh, ever since we played through Morrowind, I just wanted to play Skyrim again. Because um, for as much as I like Morrowind's story, lore, world, characters, etc., um, I just, the gameplay mechanics are dated. And of course they are. You know, I mean, the game came out a long time ago. But... God, when you play, when you play, you know, this was my first Elder Scrolls game ever, and to go backwards in any game and play with old mechanics that you know can be better and they just aren't because they hadn't thought of it, it's hard. So, um, it's hard to adjust. So, we're back in another Elder Scrolls game. This is Skyrim, and I'm very excited to do this. We're going to do a new character, and I will be quiet once... Uh, the original cutscene starts, the opening cutscene. And the scrolls have foretold of black wings in the cold, that when brothers wage war come unfurled. Alduin, bane of kings, ancient shadow unbound with a hunger to swallow the world. Song of the Dragonborn. I won't do that for all these things, but that one is always there at the beginning. So, and this is Alduin. Try to remember what he looks like, because some of the dragons can, you know, it's, it's easy to think they look the same but they actually look quite unique and different, each one. So I'm going to be quiet now, because the characters are going to start talking in a minute. I want to clarify. Uh, different types of dragons look different, and none of them look like that. So remember what that one looks like. <laughs> This isn't really much of a cutscene. Hey, you finally awake. Yeah, it's a little cold here. You're trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. I guess if you say so. Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. I always thought he looked kinda like a raccoon. For you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. I agree. Stormcloaks the Empire wants. Burn I don't know anything about the Stormcloaks. Sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. I'm sorry, who? Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? The what of what? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? Probably that town over there. Sovereign guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be at home. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. I don't remember what village I'm from. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. They conked me on the head, and I can't remember anything. The Bella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Or rather, they conked me on the head, and now I'm not creative enough to come up with a good backstory for my character. <laughs> General Tully is the military governor, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. If I had time, I could think of something. I know what I want to do, but I just haven't, I just didn't. Taking the time to think of a backstory. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries in his thing. Funny. When I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so sick. Who stopped drawing the line? Pick that pencil Let's up go. and finish the damn line. Keep the gods waiting for us. 
<sighs> Fine. Was it God? Did God put the pencil down? God! Finish that line. Make it a nice, perfect circle. So that never ends, right? Empire loves their damn lists. I guess we're not getting our wish for a closed line that doesn't end. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Kazuntite. Bailoff of Riverwood. Hi, friend. No care of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. No, 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 there's better ways to handle this. Steal that horse? Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't suggest, I didn't Wait. suggest anything. You there, step forward. Uh, okay. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I'm not far off from this guy. So, character creation. Um, I'm not a huge... Like, I don't do a lot with the uh, character creation. Um, let me see here. I know I know what I want to do. I uh, just don't know. <sighs> Let's see. Martin. Uh, hmm. 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 <laughs> Let's see. I kind of want to replicate what I did the first time I played the game, because that was a long time ago and I'm nostalgic and stuff. Uh, okay, well, in that case, I'm going to go with Nord. We are male. Why is male a... Why male female is a slider? Doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, I'm actually, like, I'm pretty okay with this preset. I think we're just going to change a couple things. Ever so slightly darker skin. Yeah, I'll make him... Almost as buff as he can be. Whoopsies. What did I do there? I skipped a couple spots. There we go. Uh, complexion's fine, fine, fine. Let me see. I really want to change his hair the most to something. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, ooh, maybe, maybe almost a brave heart kind of thing there. Hmm. Or, I don't know. I can't, ex I can't exactly remember what <laughs> brave heart looked like. Anyways. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I don't want to go with the mohawk. Um, let's me think. Uh, what is that one's like a? That one's like a. No, where is it? That one's kind of like it reminds me of like a Jedi Master or something. Um. Uh, let me think. Uh, ah, you know what? Yeah, I like that. I like that one. We'll go with that one. Okay. Facial hair. Let's see. Get a little bit of, a little bit of scruff like that. Sure. Hair color. Uh, let me think here. Ooh. Maybe like a gray-haired warrior or something. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think here. Nah, I don't want to be like bright blonde. Uh, let me see. I'm thinking we go with the, you know, late middle-aged warrior trying to kind of get out and enjoy life before he dies. Like why I was trying to cross the border into Skyrim. Yes, yes, I'm building my backstory in my head as we go along here. And honestly, eyes, nose, mouth, I'm okay with all of that. Okay. Yes. Oh, God, names. I'm bad with names. Uh let me think. Let me think for a second. I'll, I'll come back. Okay, I've come up with something. It's probably crap, but at least I came up with something. That's more. That's more than I can usually ap accomplish. So what am I doing? I don't have a chat pad. Norvar with the two A's because that seems to be a thing. <laughs> Norvar. And I don't know. The inspiration came from Hadvar's name, and then my guy's a Nord, so Norvar. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Set in stone. Done. Picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. You know, just kill me on the spot Captain, like that. What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here, in your homeland. Follow the captain. <sighs> well, you see, man, I went off to Cyrodiil to 
try and find a good blacksmith, and none of them liked me very much. So I was coming home because I was gonna learn blacksmithing on my own in my home, and then you just uh, gonna kill me just for trying to come home. Believe that crap. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. Don't look at me, dude. I'm not going to save you. I'm bound up too. Souls to Ethereus. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on. I haven't got all morning. Don't be so eager, man. I mean, geez. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? I don't know. Maybe that guy can't. Ooh. That's a small basket for his head. Vlod, what? Where's Vlod? Ingrid? Who are these people? As he was in life. Ah, don't be sad, Rayloff. Wait, hold on. We're all kind of wearing rags. I don't actually seem to have legs. How am I gonna walk over there without legs? Can I get a, a crutch? A cane? Something? Hey, bro, can I borrow your battle axe for a sec? I gotta, I gotta... No? Alright. Well, I managed to float over here, so... Hope you're satisfied with that. Ugh. Can you take his head out of the basket, please? No? Alright, well... You got a guillotine or... Whoa, what is that? It's a bird! It's a plane! What do you see? It's a tree! No, wait, trees don't fly. Hold on. Leaves! Leaves fly when they fall from the trees, right? It's a leaf! It's an angry leaf with red eyes. Run away from the leaf! Get up! Use your floating torso to run away! I'd love to. Alright. Erase you there, Rayloff. I win, now you die. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Don't let Rayloff in. I, I mean, I was totally... Everything's fine. I wasn't going to leave him outside. Not at all. Guys, that... That Rayloff guy's kind of annoying, huh? What is going up going to do? I can't jump from that high. Can you? Ah! Come back! Rayla. You got singed a little bit there, you alright? Well, what now, genius? Whoa! Okay. Can I do that? Alright, sure. Let's do that. I wanted to jump a little bit closer, though, than that. Rayloff, what are you doing? Oh, wait. Where did Rayloff end up? Get away! I think I can handle this. Let me at him. Let me at him. Cut these ropes off my freaking hands. I'll jump on him and beat him bare, bare fisted. Yeah. Stay close to the wall. Why are we running from this thing, anyways? Let me at him. Stab his wing. Get it. Arr. I'm gonna bite it. Arr. Bite his wing right off. You may have bound my hands, but you'll never bound my mouth. Bound my mouth? Bind. Look, my, my character didn't finish school, okay? Ah! Well, that's what I look like. I'm trying to run. Did you see what that thing just did to me? He shouted me over. Let's go, Hedvar. Ah! He did it again. He did it to that guy, too. Running. Uh, oh, this way. Well, that guy didn't get back up, though. Damn traitor! Out of my way! Hide in the bushes. Its vision is based on movement. See? That guy was moving too much. Yep, he was moving too much. That's what it was. Uh. Uh. Rayloff, what's your. Ah! 
He's shouting at me. Wait, well, well, th this guy protect me from the fl I'm going this guy. I'm leaving you real off. Also, this seems to be a barracks, which means I get gear. I want gear. So I can kill this stupid dragon. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? Bring us in the end times. Looks like a dragon to me. We should keep or was it a leaf? I can't here. remember. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Could you please? That'd be great. There you go. Take a look around. Ah. There should be plenty of gear to Thank choose you. from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. You want to tell me why the heck you were about to chop my head off for no good reason? Ah, oh, but there's gold. Alright, so. Uh, I like to loot a lot of things. So my inventory is going to be very full very quick. So I'm going to take this helmet and this gold. In case you couldn't tell, I'm playing on the Xbox One S. Not X. S. Ooh, sword. A sword. Hang on. I'm going to me equip a sword. There we go. And we got some armor boots, a key, and another sword. Let's do a wield for the time being. So what I was doing there, I was pressing uh, right trigger to equip the, the armor immediately. Instead of having to put it in my inventory and then equip it. Because this game is awesome and they thought of that. <laughs> So, power attack with dual swords. Yeah, no, stamina low. We're fine. I always thought it was unfortunate that they don't have a second sword on your other hip, right? Like, if you're dual wielding things, you only see the one weapon. That stinks. We need to get moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole thing. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Hey guys, don't mind me. Like the, you like my swords? They're really shiny. Ah, they don't like my swords. They don't like my swords. They're not, they're not shiny enough for these guys. Oh, I need to check something too. I don't. Oh, okay. Quest journal. Yes, yes, yes. This is a quest journal. Um, I don't remember what difficulty I was playing on. I was probably just playing. Oh, I'm on Adept, okay. I, was, I thought I might be playing on Novice because I'm just like a super casual experience when I'm playing Skyrim. Um, I'll take the Gauntlets, but I don't need either of those. And I'll take the Battle Axe because I like two-handed weapons. So I'm going to do this. There we go. Do you have anything worth taking? Not particularly. How about you? Uh, no, not really. All right. Hmm... Man, I'm that guy that checks every sack obsessively, just hoping I'm going to find, like, some gems in them or something. I don't even think that's possible. I'm pretty certain it's not possible for, like, gems or amethyst or garnet of any sort to appear in those things, but I'm the guy that obsessively checks anyways. Wow! That leaf is tearing this place apart, man. This is the strongest leaf I've ever seen. Dragon, dragon. Right, not leaf. We need to get out of Helgen now! More storm cloaks? Hey, you guys want to see my battle axe? Okay. Ah! I don't always play in third person, but I just thought it would look kind of cool. I just wanted to show them my axe. Nobody wants to take a nice look at my shiny battle axe. Ooh, great sword, battle axe, or hammer. And now I have a choice. Um. I think I'm going to go with Battle Axe or Sword. So we'll take the Sword and equip it. Um, hammers are awesome, but I just, for me, they, they swing a little too slowly sometimes. Um, so, well, I, I, you know what I mean. They're, most of the time I want something that swings a little bit faster than a great hammer. Because they just, they're, they're real slow. So, uh, also... I don't do... well, I might do some stuff with alchemy, but I have one thing in mind with alchemy, and that is money-making, because you can make a lot of money by selling... whoops, I didn't want that basket. Drop that. Um, you can make a lot of money making and selling potions, so that is part of my plan. That's the other reason I'm obsessively checking all of these sacks and stuff, because I want ingredients. This and this, and this basket, it's hard to see them, because, you know, if you're looking at it this way, you'll never see those. 
with the rock warbler eggs in there, uh, which is awesome. All right, I'm ready. Done then. This way. Yes. Let's go. I do like the way the swords look too. They just they look really cool. Torture. Ah. We gotta help our guys. Oh, look out there, Torturer. I almost got you too. This is awesome. I have no mods, by the way, I should point out. Um, no mods whatsoever. We're just playing vanilla. under attack forget the old man I'll come with you wait a second looks like there's something in this cage Ooh, what's in the cage don't bother with that lost the key ages ago poor fellow scream for weeks see if you can get it open with some picks we'll need everything we can get okay cool take all my things please hey you're next buddy keep up that attitude um so there's some books here and I think my character is an intelligent Nord that likes to learn things, so we're going to pick up these books. I'm going to flip through these so that you guys can pause and read if you like. Uh, I'm not going to pick up every single book, but if it's a book I don't think I already have, I'll grab it, because eventually I want to build a library. Now we're going to put all the books in the library, just because, I don't know, I think it looks nice. And like I said, my character is an intelligent Nord that likes to read things and learn and be a smart person. So, uh, and then there's this one here, the Book of the Dragonborn. This is an interesting read, but I'm not going to take the time to read every single page right now. But you can pause and read if you like on any of these pages. But uh, it is actually a pretty cool read. That poem at the end there is awesome, too. Alright, lockpick and potions. I'm going to actually open all of these cages. Because, oh yes, lock picking. I know how to do this, of course, but well, there's the tip for anyone who needs it. Uh, let me see here. Right there. Yep. Um, I'm going to open all of these for the lock picking experience. Uh, 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 there we go. Yep. <laughs> I've done this so many times. Woohoo! And then this is a different type of book. This is a spell tome. So you don't read these ones in the traditional way. You pick them up and then you go in here and you use them. Boom. And now I've learned the spell for Spark. So if you're in this menu here, you can go left to go to Magic. Sparks is a destruction spell. And there it is. Now I can equip Sparks. This is also how you equip uh, all your spells is in that menu. And there's flames. Every character starts with flames. There's sparks. I believe it's high elves that start with sparks already. Um, not that it matters because you get it this early in the game. But if you want to build a mage character, this is basically the game's way of giving it to you. So gold, potions of minor magicka, novice hood, increase your magicka by 30 points, and novice robes, magicka regens 50% faster. So if if you want to build a mage, this is the game saying, here, here you go, you can build a mage if you really want to. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to be going for a sword, or, well, two-handed weapons, mostly, uh, and probably heavy armor. So, um, you can also set favorites by pressing the Y button. So, if you press, uh, now that you've, I've set some favorites, if I press up on the D-pad, they're all shown here, and I can equip them back and forth nice and easy. And if you're playing on Xbox, you might think, well, shoot, I don't have any hotkeys. Actually, you do. You have two hotkeys. I can set two and one or one and two, and uh, left on the D-pad sets one, like this, and right on the D-pad, if you hold right on the D-pad, sets two. So now when I'm out here, if I want to go back to the battle axe, which I had set as one, I tap left on the D-pad, there it is. If I want to go back to the sword, I tap right on the D-pad. So there we go. And the lock picks, I swear to God, some of these it might look like I'm cheating a little bit because I go straight to it, but I've done so many of these. I've done, and I'm not trying to brag or anything, it's just I've done a lot of these. I've done master locks in like two picks, 
without reloading the save over and over and over again. Just because it's, I don't know. I mean, that doing master locks in that many picks is really down to luck. Honestly, it really is. But even still, like this whole little probing thing I do here, and then I just know that it's going to be up there. Like, I don't know. You just get really used to doing it. So, I don't know. I just It's, it's just you practice, and then that's how it is. <laughs> it's like anything. You do it enough times to get better. Pressing X takes all, um, which also kicks you out of the menu instantly, which is just super helpful. One button press instead of two. It's it's just convenient. I love it. It's just there's so much about this game that is so refined and and ah, uh, it's ah. Uh, <laughs> I really love it. Come on, Edvar. There's more stormcloaks up here. Maybe we can reason with them too, like we did the last bunch. Because it worked so well the last time. Nope. That is. Whoa, look out, buddy. Almost hit him. Uh, oh, there's one up here. There's two up here. I do think the animations look pretty cool in third person, though. Yeah. Whoops. Look out, Heifer. Get out of my way. Let me kill him. There. You guys are having a hard time, evidently. All right. So, let me see. Don't need that. Uh, don't need any of that. There was another one here. Yep. Hi. Nope. Okay. Don't need any of that. Are there two with bows? Yes, there are. That's what I thought. Okay, let me show something off here. This is, uh, oh, the torturer's assistant died. This stuff on the ground here kind of looks like blood. It's actually oil. And you can use flame spells to light the oil. Anyone standing in that is going to have a really bad day. So... Um, you cannot use sparks to light the uh, to light the oil. You have to use flames or something something to do with fire. So any any fire spell basically. So I'm gonna take the arrows because arrows weigh absolutely nothing, and I'm gonna take one bow because it's always good to have a bow on you. But as you can see, arrows are absolutely weightless, so no reason not to take them. Um, and I'm gonna put the bow down on the favorites, and we're gonna make it favorite number one. Actually, no, I want yes, yeah, 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 longbow sword. The arrows stay equipped even if the bow is not, so you know, you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to hit this lever. It's an old bridge, but if it works, it works. Right? Come on, Hevar. Come on, Hevar. Let's go. Alright. Well, it was an old bridge, but it held up pretty well. Who's this? A tunnel. Yeah, we are. There's a tunnel, though. Where's the tunnel go? Ooh, dead guy. And three gold, a healing potion, and a coin purse. I should point out, you can also... You might notice, first of all, that going into the inventory pauses the game. Um, you can also put potions on your favorites list, so that when I go in here, which also pauses the game, I can just grab my potions real quick and instantly heal while time is frozen uh, if I get into a pinch in a fight. So... I plan on keeping the difficulty set where it is. I don't plan on raising it. Um, and I don't plan on lowering it unless I get to a pot, uh, spot, spot that I just I cannot like beat any other way. So, come on, Hedvar. Let's go. Uh, that doesn't go no, of course I not. We're going to go this way. this way. Let's go, man. You're too slow, man. You got you to gotta keep up. I'm right here. I'm with you, dude. Let's go. Maybe I just need to let him go first. Alright, so we got some spiders here. Using the bow in third person is really hard for me, so I'm just gonna go back in the first person. Uh oh, missed. Ah, he moved. So we gotta draw it all the way out to get the damage and the range. Ah, I'm so out of practice with the bow. Oh my god. The hitboxes actually are not awful, too, so you do have to be pretty accurate. Alright, so, get my arrow back. Um, now, these guys generally drop frostbite venom, which is a type of poison, so I'm gonna grab that. And we're gonna go like this, and if you miss an arrow, you can kind of just barely see it there. You can pick it up again if you can reach it. Now, if you have something like this, where you're kinda, you kind of can't reach something, hold A on item, 
then you can try to drag it away. And it does matter which part of said thing you grab. Like this, except he's a little big. Let me try to get the little guy here. Mm. Come on, you. Nope. What the, the little frostbite spider. Yeah. Ah, whatever. Anyways, you can pick up your arrows if you can get to them. Um, what is up here? There is a mace. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, the web sacks here. Skeever tail. I don't know if I need skeever tail, but uh, these have egg sacks. I'm not going to be obsessed about getting every single thing and taking a super thorough look, but the obvious ones I will grab, like so. Okay. Ah! There's a glitch where when you run over things, sometimes they freak out and go flying and hurt you. Um, because this is the first episode and it's an introductory episode, we're going to go for an hour because as you can see, we're already at about 30 minutes and we haven't even gotten out of the tutorial room yet, so... Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her right now. I'd be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling so. empty, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. He just gave me another bow that I don't need. So I'm going to drop it. Oh, I'm going to drop it. I have to reset that in my favorites now. There we go. Um, so when you're sneaking like this, this thing in the middle of my screen is actually an eyeball that is currently closed. So when it opens up, it'll, it'll be like an eye. And the more, the wider it is open, the more closer they are to detecting you. And when it's fully open, they've seen you. When it's closed like this, they haven't seen you. Oh, and with this opportunity, if you go into your potions, this is where the venom is. Blood freezing points does five points of health, uh, damage to health and stamina for four seconds. So how do you apply a poison? Well, you just hit use, and you apply it to the current weapon and you only get one use for it so this only this arrow is going to be poisoned like this you can see his health going down for a few seconds and he's dead uh, if you do that on a sword you only get one use um, it's just whatever is the first swing ooh mead I love some good mead iron helmet good first instance of heavy armor no ah this damn cart is wine wine yeah no. A little fancy for my Nord's taste, but, you know, I will take the helmet all day long. Let's see here. Where is that? Where is that? Yes. Yes. Starting to look like a real warrior. Uh, okay, so I'm going to mention real quick the rule that I want to have set for this Let's Play. Um, kind of something I'd, I thought of on my own, and I think it's fun. I've played it with it once or twice. I think it's cool. After we leave this area... After we exit that cave, right there, from that point forward, we have to craft any armor or weapons that we want to equip. I cannot, I cannot use ones that I find on the ground, and I cannot buy them in the shops. So, um, yeah, that is that is the rule. Um, I can I can grab things I find on the ground, but I can't equip them. So if I find, it never would happen. But if I found like some ebony armor in the next chest I opened, can't use it. I gotta make my own. So that is the rule we are going with from this point forward. Wait. Looks like he's gone for good business. Die dragon. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. I don't think so either. Closest town from here so that's a dragon, and not a leaf. Okay. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Yeah, but I want to follow you around, man. We're going to stick with him for a little bit here. At least until we get to one line of dialogue that I think is cool. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, my pet mug crab. That's from the, uh, um, you should go to solitude and join I don't even know what it's called. Region. Bethesda store or really something. Someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Yeah, so that's, uh, pet, next town pet mug crab. Those are from the Bethesda store. I grabbed them because they were free at one point, and I was like, ooh, free things? But I've, I've never tried to go and interact with them, and I don't really plan on doing that in this Let's Play, honestly. I just want to keep it vanilla. Honestly, that's, I mean, because then, you know, no matter what system you're playing on, 
or anything, you can you can follow along, uh, and I th I think that's nice for a let's play, right? So I I just want to get See one line of dialogue. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night, that kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. Ah, don't be such a baby. Look, I'm gonna make some awesome armor and weapons, and then we're gonna go up there and clear that place out. You and me. You and me, Hadbar, let's do this. Fist bump. Alright, just leave me hanging. Sure. This is the dialogue I want right here. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. See for yourself. Yeah, so, uh, there is the Thief Stone, and those under the sign of Thief will learn all stealth skills 20% faster. And I will explain about skills in just a second. And then there's the Mage Stone. Under the sign of the Mage will learn all magic skills 20% faster. And then there is the Warrior Stone. Those under the sign of Warrior will learn all combat skills 20% faster. So, what is it talking about with skills? Well, if we come up here and we look at skills, right? Um, you have a blue section, you have a green section, and you have an orange, sec orange section. So, out of all of these, there are 18 in total. From smithing, heavy armor, block, two-handed, one-handed, and archery. All of these count as combat skills. And then if we keep going to the green, we have light armor, sneak, lock picking, pickpocket, and speech. All of those count as stealth skills. And then we have alchemy, illusion, conjuration, destruction. Wait, hold on. I messed up a little bit. Wait. Enchanting, alteration. Uh, yeah, no, I messed up. Okay. One second. Okay, light armor still counts as uh, warrior. So, and then there's sneak, lockpicking, pickpocket, speech, and alchemy. Wait, one, two, three. I'm totally getting myself messed up. I was right the first time. Light armor is one of these. Hold on. I'm really confused now. Smithing, heavy armor, block. Three, four, five, six. Yes, okay. Light armor, sneak, lockpicking, pickpocket, speech, and alchemy are all stealth skills. There are six there. That's what it should be. And then the magic skills are illusion, conjuration, destruction, restoration, alteration, and enchanting. There. Aha. So from between enchanting and illusion uh, is magic from alchemy to light armor is sneak and from archery to smithing is warrior there we go okay so uh, you can see as a nord our one handed is already at 20 our two handed was at 25 it's already gone up to 26 because we were using a two handed weapon block is already at 20 and smithing is already at 20 um, as for anything else, our speech is already at 20, which is a nice touch, and so is our light armor. But I'm not going to be using light armor in the long run, so... Um, yeah. These are the skills. Now, because I'm mostly going with heavy armor and two-handed weapons, and I'm going to be smithing a lot, we are going to go with the warrior stone. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Oh, did you now? Alright, so now we're going to abandon Hadvar, and we're going to run back this way a little bit. Because there's something I want to get. He'll meet us down in uh, Riverwood when we get over there. But I need to go up here first. I'm going to grab this butterfly. Come here, butterfly. I'm going to rip these wings off of the monarch butterfly. Because, you know, I need them for things and stuff. Uh, i got some more thistle, and if we can't go look over here... Just just a quick little gander over here somewhere. Look at that. There's a camp. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Oh, are we not friends? Have I not befriended you? Why do you keep putting your weapon away and getting it back out again? Would you be happier if I stepped this way? Would you be happier if I stepped this way? Why can't we be... Ah! They're bandits! I'll show you how good I am. Oops. Well, that looked cool, but I missed. Here, I'm going to kill you. Because you're almost dead. You're next. And I'm going to switch to my bow for this guy. Where is he? There. Oh, he moved. I got him. I think there is some degree of aim assist in this game. 
Yes, got him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the bow's... For me, it's hard to use in third person. All right, I'll take... I'll take... Uh, is light armor. Don't want it. Let's see here. Gold. Ooh, heavy armor. Iron armor. And iron boots. Oh, wait. I can't use it. Right. Rules. Rules, rules, rules. Go back to my light armor and my light boots that I had before. Well, shoot. Well, if I can't use it, I'm not going to carry it around. It's too heavy for that. Right, right, right. Okay. I almost forgot about my rules, man. What about you? Ooh, a hunting bow. That's cool. I don't think I can... Can I craft a hunting bow? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, Nord Mead, just for me. Uh, treasure map. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's Riverwood, and it's in a in a stump on the other side of the river. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Ooh, studded armor. See, now, generally, especially at the beginning of the game, my rule for what I think is valuable to sell is 10 to 1 value to weight. So this thing would have to be at least 60 for me to take it. It's worth 75, so I'll take it. The hide boots, they're 10 to 1. Um, granted, they're going to be like 2 or 3 gold when we go to sell them, but arrows are weightless, so I always grab arrows. <laughs> you can never have too many arrows, literally. Um, and then if we come over here, look, a book. Night Falls on Sentinel. So any book with a value of 50 or greater, uh, most books with a value of 50 or greater, are skill books. And when you read them, it'll buff a skill by one point. Like this, for free. So this is a skill book. And it's also a regular book that you can read with a pretty interesting story, but I'm just going to flip through the pages for you guys, so you can pause and read if you like. It's a bit of a longer book, slightly. There it is. All right. And if we come over here, that was one of my arrows. Uh, or one of their arrows? That would have been... That would have been one of his arrows. I'm going to take this coin purse... And this satchel food's only good for healing you, and it only heals you a little bit. So if you're, like, really into the roleplay thing, you can, you know, eat food occasionally if you, you know, want to roleplay that your character needs food. Some black mage robes here that aren't worth much, but they're worth, uh, well, they're not worth much in the grand scheme of things, but at this point of the game, that's a lot of money. One weight for 153 gold. Yes, please. Now, when you go to sell things, um, the actual sell value is going to be considerably less than the... Uh, maximum value of the thing, which is what you actually see on screen. The the maximum value. So, we are going to head down this way here. And, now uh, let me see anything around here. Thistle? Actually, I happen to know. There is some hanging moss right here. And if we go down this way, there's actually a little boat down here. And there's a huntress, a fisherman, and there's some iron ore that I can't mine because I don't have a pickaxe. Hello there, nice fishing pole. Hello, hunter. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Uh, okay, cool. What have what have you got for sale? Items above the divider line belong to the vendor. Items below belong to you. To buy or sell, select an item and press A. So you've got some food. You got some pheasant breast. You got some bear pelt, goat hide, and horker tusks. Those are all. Quite expensive. Can I sell you anything? Let's see. No, I need my garlic and my salt. How about in here? Uh, you don't have 16 gold. You know, normally I wouldn't nitpick about one gold, but honestly, at the beginning of the game, I kind of need to. Ooh, I don't want to. Do I want to steal? Let's see, the eye is open right now. No, it's closed. Can I? I can probably pick this stealthily. If the lockpick breaks, she will hear me. No, she won't. Okay, good. I thought she did. Maybe not. I'm just gonna get in here. Don't mind me. Gold lockpick. Potion of minor stamina. And I've already become a thief. Immediately. Wait. They can hear you as well. Noise is a factor in this game. Heavy armor is much louder. Yep, good for you. Didn't rob you blind or anything. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, <laughs> heavy armor is much louder than light armor, so heavy armor is bad for sneaking. But I don't think we'll be doing too much sneaking. Um, also, I've already triggered a, uh, a one-time event that is going to become an issue uh, shortly. But, you know, maybe I should have waited on that. Ooh, I shouldn't have stolen something so early. Uh, we'll get to it when we get to it. So up here is a mine. I forget what it's called. What is it called? Ember Shard Mine. Yeah. It's 
been a while since I played this part of the game. Oh, hello there! Oh, are you a bandit too? I want to make friends, but you guys just keep attacking me. Ah, uh, fine. Come here. Ah, yes, I hit you with my awesome backswing thing. Spinny swing. Uh, gold lock pick for the hide boots. Uh, yeah, technically the value ratio is there. The value ratio is there, but like, it's so bad. Not, eh. Eh. Oh, woodcutter's axe. Can I grab this? Yes. I might need this. Yes, I will need that actually to craft arrows eventually. Uh, take those flowers. We'll go through the mine in the next episode, but right now I want to get to Riverwood and get some story stuff out of the way. Uh, we'll also be revisiting these rapids to catch those salmon because, well, we'll see about, we'll see what those are for later, but I do want to go catch them, just not right now. I want to get to Riverwood and meet up with, uh, Hadvar and see what's going on. Wolves! I can handle some stinking wolves. Ah! Uh. Ah. So what I'm doing here is I'm using left trigger to block and right trigger while blocking to bash. The finishing moves like that, by the way, they're they're random. They just happen sometimes. But they are really cool. It's a guaranteed kill. Unless it bugs out, which is very uncommon. Unless it bugs out, it's a, it's a guaranteed kill. So you might be able to get away with doing less than full damage to an enemy before they die, because they might... You know, you might get that animation when they're on, like, a quarter health or something, instead of having to fully kill them, so that can be nice. Uh, any ingredients? Ah, that's what I thought. I thought there were some slaughterfish eggs there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me this. Yeah. Alright, Riverwood. This is always one of my favorite towns, honestly. It just looks very nice and quaint. I like it. Some more Atapanella. Somewhat of a limited ingredient. In the in the game is it's hard to hard to come by a little bit. There's only so much at a time. What's going on? And who's this? I'm his new best friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything. But we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What? What is it now, mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. No, she's right. See, it was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. <laughs> she's right. There was a dragon. I saw it too, man. All right, so let's go meet... Uh... Shoot, I forgot his name too. Hadvar's uncle. Uh, oh my god, it's been a while since I played this game. This part of the game. It's Alvor. Alvor and Sigrid. And then Dorothy is their daughter. Hello, madam. We've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to stop. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' goal. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But Why, thank I you. Need your help. We need your help. Ooh, I get things. Let me see here. What do I really care? Oh, you're gonna give me a gold necklace for free? Thank you. Hunting brew mead. Mm, always iron ingot. Gonna need that. Potions. A ring. You're too kind. You're really. You're just. You're too kind. You know that. The thank you, Alvor. To know that there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in White Run to send Kazoom whatever tight. soldiers Again. he can. If you'll do that for me. People sneeze a lot here. But it sounds weird. 
they say like Jarl when they sneeze. I don't know. It's it's weird. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Um. um <gasps> ooh, can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. Well, we'll see if I do. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Uh, um, let me see. I know how to get to White Run. All right. Until if you do the you really any supplies I can take option, like? it it'll just pull up that same uh, vendor type menu again. You two make yourselves at home. All right, now we are quote unquote friends with Alvor and Sigrid. So now we can take things like these ingredients without stealing them. Or, oops, I didn't want the plate. What? No, I'm your friend. Remember, I just befriended you all. Garlic. Ah, garlic's such a useful ingredient. There we go. Going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to White Run. Just down the road from here. From there, you can take a carriage to Solitude. All right, thank you. Well, that's to Solitude, but I need to be going to uh, freaking White Run right now. Ooh, gold lockpick, gold necklace. Hey, don't mind me. Okay, still hidden. Ah, if I take it, I can't sell it anyways because it's stolen. Never mind. Never mind. Not gonna bother. How about this barrel? Cabbages. Okay. I do check sacks and stuff for barrels as well because. Uh, Sacks and sacks for barrels, sacks and barrels for ingredients because you can get not just food items but also ingredients in them, and sometimes some ingredients you wouldn't actually expect. Things like honeycomb and just random stuff. So, um, I will take the cowhide because that will be useful for making leather, and I'll take the leather strips because that'll be useful for making weapons and armor. I did see a dragon, little one. Did you see a dragon? Oh, okay, well. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. But you seem alright. Uh, well, uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Shh. Shh. They can see me. They can still see me. I'm gonna take this troll fat, though. Don't worry about anything that I'm doing right now. Just tell me that works. <gasps> oh, that worked. I can't believe that My worked. Alvor, the okay. I'm his assistant. What are you doing oh, that shoot. For? Don't. No, don't mind me. I'm just gonna carry this upstairs completely innocently. Where is Alvor? Oh, shoot. Give me this. Yeah! Haha. -ha. <laughs> <Someday, I'm> <laughs> I didn't intend to play this as a thief, but, you know. Ooh, a book. I'm gonna read this book. The Song of Pelinol, Volume 2. Okay, as usual, I'll flip through the pages for you guys. Oh, that was a short book. Alright. I'll take that. And let's see. I could take the hunting bow, but I want to craft all of my weapons. Ooh, my boots. Um, Alright, well, have we leveled up yet? Oh, wait, I just saw some garlic down there. Yes. Garlic is a very useful ingredient, but you don't see it too often, so. Damn storm cloak rebels. Oh, uh, blacksmith's apron. That seems fitting for me. All right. Well, um, have I leveled up yet? No, I have not. Hmm. Hmm. I need to level up before I can do what I want to do. I want to craft some steel things, but I need the skill to learn steel smithing, and I need a skill point to put into that skill, which means I need to level up. Uh, you level up by increasing the level of any of those minor skills. So almost everything you do in the game, almost everything, gives you experience towards all those 18 skills I showed you. And if any of those skills levels up to the next level, as soon as that happens, they give some experience towards your character level. So you need to do things on your character to increase... Uh, you need to do things to, with your skills to increase your character level. Um, so, if you remember that map, it showed Riverwood, the river, and a log with the chest inside of it. So this is where that treasure map from the bandits was leading us. We get garnet gold, iron, petty soul gem, and a silver ring. These loot chests are also... Uh, every Almost every container in the game is randomized, so you won't find the same things in there necessarily as I just did. 
Um, let me think here. Let's see if we can do maybe a super quick run. Well, no, not that quick, but we'll head back to Embershard Mine, I suppose, and we'll at least get started on it. It's a fun little place. Get some goodies and some loot. Um, let's see, what is my starting carry weight? 300, okay, good. That, I can work with that. Did I check the wolves? I should have uh, looted the wolves for their pelts. I don't think I did, though. Uh, did I? I did, okay, good. I thought I didn't. I'm just not in the habit of doing it now because, like, I don't know. You, uh, I have a lot of other characters I've played, too, that don't rely on smithing, like, at all. And so I just, you know, a lot of times I fall out of the habit of, of, of doing that, checking for pelts and stuff. All right, so we've already killed this bandit up here. And all right, let's head inside the Ember Shard Mine. I think this is a cool little area. I think it, it acts as a very good early game dungeon um, because, partially because, for example, there's a pretty obvious tripwire here. And then if you're the curious sort, you can walk through it or you can activate it yourself, but activating it will make a bunch of noise. The short version is if you hit that, these rocks will fall on your head. So the idea is someone who's not paying attention walks through that underneath the rocks and they get damaged by the rocks. But, you know, I'm a thinking person, so I noticed it. I'm going to take those mushrooms. I'm going to get my bow ready. And... Alright, here's what I'm going to do. So one of them is going to go to bed, the other one is going to walk up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some poison to my bow. And once the other one is in bed, I will assassinate this guy. The poison's not on a timer, necessarily, so uh, once he's actually asleep, I will... Hip! Die, you. No, the other one's waking up. Crap. Oh, look, I leveled up. Nice. Use this other frostbite venom on that guy. Oh, he's gonna go investigate his friend's body. No, he's running straight at me. Nope. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Worked out in the end. Uh, let me see here. The bracers, again, they're technically, they meet my, my criteria for value to weight, but they're just so worthless anyways. I'm not gonna bother. Put my arrow back, though. Thank you. Uh, okay, so, mushrooms, and we have a pickaxe. Now, with the pickaxe, as long as you have it in your inventory, you don't even have to equip it. As you can see, I don't have the pickaxe equipped here at all, even though it is a weapon. You can go up to any ore vein and tap A on it, as long as you have a pick in your inventory, and your character will chip away at the rock, get you some ore. Every three hits will give you an ore, like that. So every vein will give you three pieces of ore. Like a so. And sometimes you can get gems, like garnets. Like that. Now the faster way to get iron, because that animation takes a little while. It's kind of nice. It's a neat little animation. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you want to go a little faster, you can equip the pickaxe. And when you find another ore vein like this one, you can swing at it manually. And every third swing gives you your iron. And that is a lot faster than going through that slow animation, so. With a piece of gold, there's a tattered, a tattered journal here. Oh, that was, was the guy that died in the mine collapsed, I guess. Poor guy. All right, oh, I hear someone else mining, or no, they're smithing something over there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get in the barrel here. I guess I will sneak around here, because if they're close by and I'm sneaking, it'll give me experience, and any experience is good experience. Oops. I thought we had a guard posted outside. We did. Your eyes peeled. I don't think we're alone. Is someone there? No. Yes. Oops, I keep I, I, I keep trying to press B to stand up, but that's not the button. Hi. Hi. Hup. Nope. You missed. Boom. Blocked it. Oh! Get owned. You've already got steel? What the hell? Alright, I'm going to take that studded armor, because that's a definite, you know, totally worth it. 
Ooh, a sweet roll. I'll take that for later. Iron arrow again. All right. Well, stealth is temporarily out of the window. Wait, no, it's back in the window. Okay. Uh, grab that coin purse. Yep, there we go. And let's be sneaky sneaky again. Because if we observe over here, I'm going to be slow because armor makes a lot of noise. There's a there's a guy sitting there. Spell tone, look at that. And a coin purse. So the reason the coin purse just popped into the table there. One second. Some things are placed in the world, and, and every, well, most things that are placed in the world, um, okay, let me restart. Most things are placed in the world, like these daggers and the, uh, the tankard and that spell tome, um, just loosely, right? And, and sometimes they bug out and they're not where they're supposed to be. Well, they are and they aren't. The item that you interact with is not where it's supposed to be, but the game thinks that the item is actually back where it was. So... Like, that coin purse, it was supposed to be right there on the table to begin with, but it glitched out and moved it somewhere else. But the game thought it was supposed to be there. So as soon as I touched something else in the same area, the game went, oh, wait, that coin purse isn't where it's supposed to be, and it put it back. So, yeah, that's that's what happened there. Just an annoying little bug that happens. Um, now, if you want to lure somebody to a better position to kill them, you can make a little bit of noise at a distance, like that. And then, do I have any frostbite venom? Yes, I do. Once they are in your sights, you can do something like that. Something like that. Haha. -ha. Uh, ooh, amber shard mine key. Thank you for that, sir. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my pickaxe here because there's another ore vein. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Done. Just like that. Quick, easy, and efficient. All right, if we get in here... Oh, look, the key works on that. This is a prison cell, I guess. No iron or anything to mine, so we'll get out of there. Um, open this one up as well. Let's see. Obsessively check the sacks for ingredients that I want. It's empty. Chest. What's in the chest? Uh, some good stuff, but... Um, um, keeping to my crafting row. There we go. There's some white caps in that sack there. And... This one here, let's see, that one's empty. This one, apples. That one, tomatoes. The top one, carrots. Okay, all right. Um, oh, I should mention, too, these torches on the wall here. You can actually grab the torches, and then if you go down to your... Ah, that's the world map. Okay. There's the tip for anyone who wants to read it. You also get the local map by pressing X. You can toggle between local and world. And then here's the world map. So, yeah, we'll see a lot of that later. Anyways, what I was trying to do is if you go to items, you go to misc, you can favorite the torch and equip it, like so. And if you block, you can still block with it. It's not as good at blocking as like a shield or a proper weapon, but there you go. Now, whenever I walk around, I actually have light with me. You can see the light comes with me because, you know, the torch is in my hand. So, oh look, wheat in that barrel I didn't see before. So, and then if you want to get rid of it, there you go. As far as I know, it doesn't affect your stealth, but I'm not 100% sure. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, again. There we go. Back to the bow. Actually, well, yeah, I'll try to, yeah, I'll, yeah, we'll just get this now. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight, and nine. And the reason that was a slower animation is simply because I'm crouched, so, yeah. The bow. All right. Hmm. There's one guy down there. Aha! My sneak went up again. All right. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna grab this coin purse. I'm gonna explain the skills and leveling up real quick. So we're gonna level up. When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magicka, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Available perks are highlighted in each constellation. So, there we go. Uh, anything you put points into is going to go up by 10. So I'm going to go up in health here, because we're going to be on the front lines taking hits a lot. And we have, at the top there you see it says perks to increase 1. So we have 1 perk point. And I'm going to put that first into steel smithing here. So that now I can create steel things. Steel weapon and armor. So, uh, 
that will be very useful in the next episode where we will create some steel things. But for now, that'll do it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this hour-long first episode extravaganza of Skyrim. I'm very excited to be playing this. And as always, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video.